Stop. Lieutenant Sullivan, Stop. emergency. Come to the lab at once, please. Human history. What's he talking about? It's something that happened when we first met. I tell you, Brigadier, there's nothing to worry about. The brontosaurus is large and placid. This the patient, sir? And stupid. If the square on the hypotenuse equals the sum of the square on the other two sides, why is a mouse when it spins? <laughs> Never did know the answer to that one. Ah, too oh. late. No! No, Doctor, wait! Doctor, listen! Please, it's Sarah! Doctor! Hello. Oh. Come to see me off, have you? Well, I hate goodbyes. I'll just slip away quietly. Well, no, Doctor, you can't go. Can't? Can't? There's no such word as can't. Oh. Why not? Well, you can't go rushing off and leave them in the lurch. Can't I? Goodbye. Oh, thank you. There can't be many groups of people in the country with the money and resources to design and build something like... An enormous robot over seven feet tall. Yes, yeah, something like that. However, did you guess? Guess? I've just seen it. I've been talking to it. What are you going to do? Oh, no, don't tell me. More thinking. I beg your pardon, Brigadier. I was just thinking. Now, where is that pass? It must be somewhere. Freedom of the city of Scaro? No. Pilot's license for the Mars-Venus rocket run? Galactic passport? Do you travel much? Honorary member of the Alpha Centaurian Table Tennis Club. Very tricky opponents, those chaps. Six arms, and of course, six bats. It really keeps you on your toes. I tell you what, I'll just pop outside and try something. Oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry. You just lie there and get some rest. I'll find help. Above all, don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Now, please, stay calm. Everyone keep his seat. Huh? Now then, what can I do to entertain you till my friend the Brigadier arrives? Eh? <laughs> a little song, a huh? little dance, perhaps? <laughs> Not just a little dance? Anyone for cards? <laughs> Don't just stand there, you idiots! Get him! Now for my next trick. I shall require the assistance of a member of the audience. <laughs> say, haven't we met somewhere before? Sarah? Sarah? Would you like a chili, baby? Are you coming? That's oxygen, so nothing to worry about. Suffocation is nothing to worry about. Well, we can survive for quite a time yet. Well, you play with that yo-yo. Just a simple gravity reading, Sarah. Yes, almost certainly we're in some kind of artificial satellite. Now, isn't that interesting? Not very. I think it is. It's dark, it's cold, and it's getting very airless. Oh. I'm jammed. I can't move a forward or back. Oh, stop whining, girl. You're useless. Oh, doctor, is that all you can say for yourself? <laughs> Stupid, foolish girl. We should never have relied on you. I knew you'd let us down. That's the trouble with girls like you. You think you're tough, but when you're really up against it, you've no guts at all. <laughs> Hundreds of lives at stake, and you lie there blubbing. You wait till I get out. I can manage. I don't need your help, thank you. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Oh, wait. You've done marvelously, Sarah. Oh. I'm very proud of you. I really am very proud of you. What? Conned again. You're a brute. You're a brute? Yes. Don't be ungrateful. I was only encouraging you. Here's your coat. I don't remember inviting you to. Uh, no, you didn't. But here we are. Uh, doctor? Yes? I can see you're busy, but uh, what about Sarah? Sarah? Oh, 
That sounds like Santa. <laughs> Ah, oh, Sarah, you're looking well. Look to the pits this way. I've lost my sonic screwdriver. I feel absolutely lost without it. I found your sonic screwdriver, Doctor the Pit. What would I do without you? Sarah, listen to me, Sarah. It's not real. Do you understand? Nothing has happened to you. It's only in your mind. Fight it, Sarah. Fight it. Very touching. You unspeakable abomination. Words, Earthling, will never prevail against Sontaran might. Excuse me. Can you help me? I'm a spy. You all right, Sarah? Oh, I am now. Yes. Doctor? Harry! Hello. Sarah! Oh, I can hardly believe it. You. Listen, I've been down tunnels before, and I've just had a rather nasty thought. Really? Yes. Suppose something's waiting for us in there. That is nasty. Better not tell Harry. He's gone first. Welcome back. You were right, Sarah, about there being something nasty waiting for us. Let's destroy it. Um, how about this? How very apt. A Dalek gun. Mm. Can you reach? Yes, I think so. If you two could put your weight on the door and stop it opening too suddenly. I don't want to lose my arm. I'm rather attached to it. Not so. so handy. Yes. going. Hmm? I smell a rat. If the doctor sent it a rat, Commander, he'll find one. Sarah. Don't let it happen. 